morning, good evening, and a good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life. This is Denzomos, and welcome to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom, and the channel of breaking empath free. If it's, if it's your first time here and uh, narcissism resonates with you, I encourage you to join our community, like our page, share with your friends, and subscribe. And for those that have always been with me, you are welcome back, and I thank you for your continued love and support. Guys, before I start this video, I would like to know in the comment section below what you think about this view. I just walked around and I found this spot, and straight away, I got the download, and I want to speak to you, my subscribers. I want to share with you exactly why the narcissist hates the super empath. First of all, definitely you know if you have been with a narcissist, it shouldn't come over, it shouldn't be of a surprise to you that you very much know these individuals they're not they are known for your highest good and they do not wish you well. And they very much know that they don't have your best interests at heart. One of the main reasons why narcissists really hate super empaths, this is because it is the it is only the super empath that has got the ability to mirror back to the narcissist. So the, the super empath is exactly the perfect mirror, the ultimate mirror for the narcissist. The only difference is the super empath, when the mirroring happens, when the mirroring starts, when it happens, well, that, that usually happens when the super empath snaps, like when they awaken, when they snap. So they can mirror back to the narcissist, but at some point in time, they have got a stop button. So they will know that okay, so whatever is going on is enough, so they can step back, they can they can draw back and actually re-establish uh, the whole situation. But the nurses actually, when they are doing whatever it is they are doing, they can always go, they, they go all the way to the end. At some point in time, there's a video I did, and actually I thought, in my in my in my opinion, I believe a nurses is capable of putting their family in the car and driving off. And driving their car, and driving their car, and driving that car over the cliff with their family, with their families in the car included. So what do I mean is that the narcissist is the only one who is who can drive the whole entire family group of the or their or their team. They can drive those the, the whole team towards the end of the cliff, and they can actually drive drive the car over the cliff. And they can take the whole family with them. Those are the only individuals who can do that. But you see, the super empath, when the mirroring starts, they know that actually that is not their nature. They know that is not their nature. But they are just doing it. They are doing this on purpose because eventually they have realized. They have finally realized that actually the narcissist has always been taking them for a ride. They have finally figured them out and they have realized that actually. The narcissist has been taking them for a ride. So at that point in time, they do not care whatever it is is going to happen. They don't mind. They don't care of the consequences. The only thing they care about is actually giving back those individuals exactly what they deserve. And they do not care the repercussions. Of course, like I said, they have got some feelings. And at the end of the day, they are still empaths. Because a super empath, an empath is always an empath. So they will they will draw back. They will they will stand back and actually reestablish, re-evaluate re, re this, this situation. And actually they will know that that is enough. They will know that it's enough and they will put a stop button and they will stop whatever it is they are doing to those narcissists. So the narcissists, the reason why they fear, they don't like, actually, they hate the super empath. That is simply because it is only the super empath who has the ability, unlike other empaths. There are some other uh, some other empaths, especially the unawakened ones. They, they can just go all the way. They can, they can just never know what is exactly happening to them. So they can they can absorb they can sit down there they can uh, they can uh, they can they can take in all the all the mess those individuals are trying to do they can stand there they will wait but the super empath will only do that for as long as they have not snapped should they snap at some point people i can guarantee you because i've seen this they are going to mirror back they are going to snap and they are going to start mirroring the narcissist exactly what they deserve and that point that is when the narcissist actually you're going to send them in the in the what do they call I call I call it the disappear they are going to disappear they are going to disappear off the radar they are going to disappear into thin air should they realize that actually you have snapped and you started mirroring them back so you see because the super empaths usually they want to try to make these relationships work they want to try to make things work they always try very hard to make the relationship work they are trying to love somebody who is unlovable so what they do usually they just stand in there and they try to play along you see 
the NAC is always doing all these things. Sometimes the super empath is realizing that he is realizing actually that everything that is going on in that in that in that place in that partnership is part, uh, is a toxic pattern. So what they do, usually all they do is that they tend to they tend to play along. You know what I mean? They can sit down with the nurses for years, years and years, year after year, and they will just sit down there and they are playing along. Some of some of the times, most of the cases. They have already figured out that these individuals they are toxic. They just don't have they just don't have the word. They just don't know what is going on exactly. They haven't got the word. But they have figured out that they are dealing, they are actually in a toxic situation, but they haven't yet figured out what it is exactly. So what they're doing most of the time is like they are just sitting down and playing along with the situation. You know what I mean? So for example, they've already mastered um those knocks. They have mastered the what exactly they do, they have mastered all these patterns the knocks are doing. So what they do is that just because they have gone into survival mode. The empath has gone into survival mode. So what they do is that they, they just start to play along. The only reason why they are playing along with this whole situation, that is because they haven't yet snapped. They haven't yet awakened. They haven't yet actually understood that these individuals, whatever it is they are doing, it is going. It, the situation is not going to change. And these knacks are actually taking them for a ride. So they are just playing along with the situation for as long as it takes until one point the, nurses, the, the empath is going to snap. The super empath is going to snap. And the nurses, they hate, they completely hate. Number one, they hate you. At the same time, they like you because they like your qualities and, and your, they like your qualities. They like you because you are an empath. You, you have the ability to feel. You have the ability to, to resonate with people of all categories, regardless of who they are. But at the same time, the nurses doesn't have these capabilities. And that is the reason why they cannot understand how can somebody have the ability to feel to feel other people's emotions, to be there for people, to, 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 to stand up for people for that matter, toxic people for this matter even. So the narcissist knows that the empath has got all these very, very good qualities with them along uh, that come along with them. They come with the whole package. And the narcissist, they don't have that quality. And that is what makes them mad. They, it completely pisses them off. And the only reason why they usually identify empaths as partners, they're just coming in there because they are ready to destroy whatever it is that has made you an empath in the first place. So the biggest reason why they are coming into the empaths, to the super, especially to the super empaths, that is because they know the super empaths, they can tolerate a lot, first of all. And secondly, they are trying to come in because that is their evil programming. That is their evil setup. They are just trying to come in to make sure that they destroy whatever it is. They, they break you down and destroy whatever it is that makes you the super empath for that matter. So they are trying very hard. They are working over the years. The narcissist is working day and night. You've seen them, for, for the most of you who have, who have been with them, you've seen them, they don't even sleep. They are awake each and every single day. They are working. They are 24 hours a day. They are, they are running up and down. They are figuring out how can they destroy the empath, because they don't understand how does the empath be, how is the empath, how does the, how do the empath have the ability to be who they are? Because the narcissist is trying. They have tried this before. And it hasn't worked. They have tried all the avenues. It has not worked because they cannot actually obtain that that degree and that level of empathy. And they are jealous. They are completely jealous, and it, it actually makes them angry and very annoyed to make to to see somebody who actually has that level of empathy, who is the super empath for this matter. And at the same time, they hate you because they know, should it happen and you snap, that is why you see most of most of the most of the cases. People, I've always told you that this this thing, this whole thing that is going on, is a spiritual warfare. This is a spiritual thing going on. So most of the time, there's something being being done in the background. The only thing they are doing, their mission is they have got to come in set you up for destruction in most of the cases destroy you i have personally seen empaths who has been destroyed to the ground they have been destroyed flat bottom to the ground and they cannot get up so the mission is come in mess you up destroy you completely break you down and then eventually they're supposed to run away before actually you snap when they know that they have been, they have, their mission has been accomplished they have, they have destroyed you that is when actually they, are, they want now to run away the, the the most of you have usually heard me talking about the discard that is when now they're ready to discard you because they're ready to run away and run off to somebody new. But at that point, they don't want you to snap. They want to make sure that they break you down and you cannot snap when they're still there. Because should you snap, people, I can guarantee you, the last thing the narcissist wants is somebody who is going to actually look them in the face and tell them who they are. The super empath is, is the only one with the ability. The super empath is the only individual with the ability to mirror back to the nurses they can stand in front of the nurses and actually start to act like them that is why you see most of the cases these empaths when they have left these relationships these uh, abusive toxic relationships most of the cases in the beginning stages the first weeks and the first months it is usually going to look like it is the empath who is the nurses because it is almost going to look like the empath is their their characters their personality each and everything about them 
it actually looks like they are the nurses themselves because they have absorbed all these things they have actually during those years of the nurses relationship and encounters they have been able actually there's, there's a lot of exchange that's been happening during that partnership and they can now do exactly the things that the nurses has been doing to them that is most of the cases you have seen empaths most of them even people will be thinking that actually this person says that they are the empath but at the end of the day they are doing exactly the, the, like the nurses was doing that is because the empath is actually mirroring back to the nurses usually and the nurses they know that is one of the most dangerous qualities the empath has the super empath has over them it is very dangerous for them because remember these are covert nurses they cannot be tracked down which for whichever reason they cannot be exposed they cannot be unmasked but it's the empath the super empath only the super empath has got the ability to unmask it is only the super empath who has got the ability to unmask a narcissist there's no other individual can be able to perform that it is only the empath who will be able to unmask a nurses and to exactly slip that mask off their face and that is exactly what they don't want to know that is what that, that is exactly the experience the narcs don't want to don't want to see they, they don't want to see that they don't want to see that happening to them because they are very much scared what is going to happen later on so as a person who is an empath the super empath you're going to realize that actually most of these narcs number one they're looking for you they very much want to be with you because you are the only one who is able to take their bs you're the only one who is able to sit to sit in there with them to tolerate them to some degree but at the same time they really hate you they hate you to the bottom actually they hate you to the core that is the reason why the, the first thing the nurses does when they ever realize that actually they have met a super empath the first thing they are going to do is break them down take all their qualities from them and actually because they know that these, these empaths sometimes they can be mirrors now they are going to give their qualities the knacks they are going to give their dirty qualities to the empath and they are going to actually take the good qualities from the empath and take this as, the, as their own and at the end of the day you're going to see the ex ex exchange happening so the only thing they are coming to you is take your qualities from you and then give you give you their dirty and toxic behaviors and qualities and at the end of the day when that thing ends when that partnership ends you are going to actually look like the narcissist so you should you should have the confirmation in this video people that's what i talk about the only thing i want to talk about in this video is that the narcissist deeply deeply i can say deeply extremely hates the super empath they like you only for one thing they need your fuel and your supply but as long as you can provide that fuel for them they will be around but as long uh, as soon as they notice that actually the supply the fuel is the, that's it you you, you, you can you can't do any more you, uh, you've run you've run low or even you've run out of fuel that's when they're ready to discard you but at that point they want to leave you broken and they do they want to make sure that by the, by the time they have left that partnership you have not snapped you have not awakened so most of the cases the nurses they prefer to leave the empath who is unawakened they want to leave you unawakened they don't want you to snap before they are, before they leave they want to leave first of all so that whatever 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 it is going to happen with you they have already left the vicinity they don't want to see you mirroring back to them what has been happening to what has been happening in that partnership so guys let me know what you think in this section in the comment section below that's all i want to say people in this video i hope to get back in touch with you soon let me know uh leave a comment for me and let's share together other than people much love and blessings i'll be in touch soon there's a signing out